Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel! I'm so excited that you're joining me for my bullet journal setup for the month of June. For this month's bullet journal theme, I decided to go with the mushroom theme, but not just any mushroom theme. I want it to feel a little bit more fairy-like, magical, and kind of fit in this cottage core theme vibe. And of course, I have to give a special shout out to Sky Randall for suggesting this amazing bullet journal theme idea in the first place. I feel like you guys come up with the most unique bullet journal theme ideas so if you have any other themes that you would like to see let me know in the comments down below and i'll do my best to do your theme idea justice it's always super fun to feel like we're all in this together so yeah let me know if you have any theme ideas that you would like to see next because I wanted the mushroom theme to feel a little bit more fairy-like and magical, I decided to draw a little mushroom house in a little glass vase. Now, I wasn't sure how else I can really elevate the mushroom theme to fit that fairy vibes, and so throughout this bullet journal theme, you'll see that I try to just add a little bit of elements here and there just to make it feel a little bit more magical and fairy-like. Also, the bullet journal that I'm using and all of the colored acrylograph pens that you're gonna see in this bullet journal setup video is all gonna be from the brand Archer and & Olive. And guys, when I say I'm obsessed, I mean I'm obsessed. The Archer & Olive acrylograph pens definitely are on another level. I don't have any other pens that come close to this and I just absolutely love how beautiful and opaque each and every color is. I've been so obsessed with the Archer & Olive acrylograph pens that it's the only colors that I've been using in my bullet journal for this whole year. So even though it's been five whole months in 2022, I never got tired of these pants. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll link everything in the description down below. And what's really great is that you can buy them as a set or you can just buy the individual colors that you like. And if you also want to save some extra money, you can also use my discount code JWNADIA for a discount on your order. And going back to the topic of trying to make this theme feel a little bit more fairy-like, I decided to add a little moon in the roof of the mushroom house and also add some little stars surrounding the house in the little glass vase for this theme. After I finished coloring the little mushroom house, I kind of felt like something was missing or something just kind of felt off in my cover page. And so I decided to ask you guys over on Instagram to see if I should color the background. But a lot of you guys actually mentioned that it would be better to leave it as is. And so what I decided to do was color the base of the vase to be a darker brown color. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I think this is what was missing instead. And so if you ever feel like something is missing in your bullet journal maybe it's not that you need to add more color but maybe there's just a different color that you need to switch around for you to get the look that you were going for So moving on to the quote page for my bullet journal setup for the month of June, I decided to draw a couple of little mushroom doodles at the bottom of the page and had the quote at the top. I kind of got back into reading lately and I've been really obsessed with the books from Brianna Weiss. The first book I read from her is called The Mountain Is You and I got so obsessed with it, I decided to read her other book which is called 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. This book kind of went viral on Instagram and TikTok so you might recognize it from the cover but honestly I feel like her book definitely deserves all of the hype because every page I read I feel like I'm highlighting something and also learning something else about myself too and so I really wanted to have a quote dedicated into my bullet journal so that I can always keep this reminder and the quote that I decided to choose for my June bullet journal setup is going to be the quote that says you begin to realize that safety isn't in certainty but in faith that you can keep going and the reason why this quote quote resonated with me so much is that I noticed I over plan a lot just to have a certain sense of safety and certainty for the future and I noticed that it's really preventing me from being in the moment and also enjoying the current stage that I'm at and so a super small example of this could be me freaking out about spending money on McDonald's because I get scared over the fact that I'm not saving enough money for my retirement 
even though I'm only 25 years old. And even though it can be a good thing to plan for the future and be forward thinking, I definitely feel like I need to have a more balanced approach to it because as it stands right now, I feel like I'm stressing out about every single thing that I buy and it's really making me not be able to enjoy the moment or be in the present more and so I feel like I can really get rid of some of those added stress if I can just have faith in myself that I'll be able to get through whatever comes my way when the time comes. Now the next page that I'm gonna create for my June bullet journal setup is going to be my calendar spread. I typically don't use my monthly calendar spread in my bullet journal to track any events. I actually find it a lot more convenient to track my events on my phone instead. And one of the reasons why I like to do that is because if something is time sensitive, then my phone will also give me a notification. But I also find it really convenient whenever I'm scheduling appointments because I'll always have my phone on hand and I can mark it onto my phone right away. And sometimes I feel like there's this misconception that if you start a bullet journal then you should transfer everything into your bullet journal and use it for every single thing in your life, but I definitely disagree with that. I think you should use your bullet journal in a way that fits your lifestyle, so if you feel like tracking things digitally work for you in certain aspects of your life, then feel free to keep doing it. There's no pressure for you to transfer everything in your bullet journal if you feel like it doesn't fit your lifestyle style or your habits. And so let me know in the comments down below if you also have this mixed approach with your bullet journal. I'm curious to know what kind of things you prefer to track on your bullet journal versus the things that you prefer to track digitally instead. And because I won't be using this spread to track my events, I'm actually going to use this monthly calendar to track my content instead. And because I have a couple of platforms that I'm managing, I find it really helpful in my bullet journal to be able to see everything that I'm managing in one page. However, I know that not everyone is going to be a content creator, so something else that you can do instead is use this page as a way to track your habits. And so if you want to have a monthly overview to see all of the different habits that you're doing throughout the month, I find that this is a really good way for you to do it as well. And in the middle of preparing this spread, I felt like I completely forgot how to write and I really didn't like the way that the word legend turned out here. And so I decided to take the darker purple color and just decided to recolor the whole thing so I can fix the writing. I feel like recoloring with a darker color has been my easy fix for this monthly bullet journal setup. And so if you ever make any mistake in your bullet journal, don't worry about it. There's a lot of ways that you could cover it up like I did here by using a darker color or you can even glue in another piece of paper if you really wanted to. Now to finish off the whole monthly calendar, I decided to add some alternating circles just to add a little pop of color and within those circles I ended up adding the dates of every single square with a white pen to complete the look. Now, if you've been following my bullet journal setups this year, this next page isn't going to be a surprise to you and it's going to be my meditation tracker. Now, meditation has been the one habit that I'm really focusing on for the year of 2022 and so I find that having a visual tracker really helps me out with that. This month, I decided to try a brand new tracker that's inspired by Tian Bujo on Instagram. I'm absolutely obsessed with her Instagram page, so definitely follow her if you haven't already. So for this meditation tracker, I decided to draw one square for each day of the month and in the middle of all of those mini squares, I decided to draw one big square where I can have a little image that you see here. I think this is such a unique tracker idea and I've never seen anything like this before, which is why I'm super excited to try it out for the month of June. And I find it really fun to have a visual tracker, even though I find that they take a little bit of time to set up at the beginning, I find that it's always my favorite page to fill out throughout the month and so that's why for me I find it worthwhile to spend that a little extra time in the beginning of the month to set up a really cute tracker layout so that I can get excited to fill it out throughout the month as well. I kind of find it similar to when you want to make your notes really really cute so that it kind of motivates you for when it's time to study so I find that it's kind of the same concept that applies here. I know that sometimes people can look at a really detailed bullet journal and kind of think to themselves 
for why someone would want to spend all of that time to decorate their bullet journal, but in my mind, I find that all of this time is definitely well worth it, especially if it encourages you to build some more positive habits in your life, and especially if it brings you joy as well. Now the next page that I'm gonna create for my June bullet journal setup is going to be a habit tracker page. And for this page, I decided to use the stencils that I got gifted from the brand Sunny Streak. And I'm absolutely obsessed with their brand because I find that all of their stencils are so beginner friendly. And on top of having such practical and easy to use stencils, they'll also give you an ebook along with your purchase so that you can have a lot more ideas on how you can use your stencils. And so that's why I feel like their brand is perfect for anyone who's into bullet journaling, whether you're new and you want to explore a lot of different layouts, or whether you're an experienced bullet journalist that wants to save a little bit more time when you're preparing your spreads, I feel like the stencils are perfect for you and there's so much variety on their website so there's definitely a stencil for everyone. The stencil that I decided to choose for this habit tracker spread is going to be this square one. I really like it because I think it's super unique and I feel like it goes really well with the habit tracker that I have on the other page and because I didn't have that much habits that I wanted to track this month I decided to jump each line of the stencil and just draw in every other line what I really like about this stencil as well is that there's also a little space in the middle so I decided to just draw a little bit of mushrooms in the middle of this habit tracker and I find that it also helps to add a little pop of color for this habit tracker spread as well So much for tuning in to my June bullet journal setup. It's always super fun to create the themes that you guys suggest and bring it to life. Let me know in the comments down below what theme you decided to choose for the month of June. And if you're curious to see what type of weekly spreads that I like to create in my bullet journal, definitely check out this video here for more ideas for your bullet journal setup. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.